Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I am here to um, talk to you about another social media outlet tonight, and that is called Pinterest. So we're going to use Pinterest tonight to um, talk to you about how you can be successful um, in your direct sales business by sharing things on Pinterest and getting yourself out there. So I'm um, just going to check something really quickly um, to make sure that this is working. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm going to give you 11 tips tonight, 11 tips. So if you're here, um, feel free to say hello. I know there's a chat, so I'm going to enable that. So I should be able to see this chat. Um, say hi if you're here. And that's fun. Okay. Sorry, just want to make sure I am there and live. Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. All right, so Pinterest. I know that a lot of people are kind of uncomfortable with this topic. Maybe you don't know a lot about Pinterest. We certainly, um, as direct sellers and people in general, don't seem to know enough about Pinterest, as in how you can use it for your business. Um, you know, we tend to gravitate towards um, Facebook and Instagram and um, even Snapchat. Um, lately. So just some tips, you know, Pinterest might not be for everybody, but it's definitely a great avenue, especially if you blog, you are missing out if you are not using Pinterest. So 11 tips. I'm sorry that there's 11. I don't like the number 11, but that's what there are. Actually, there's not 11, there's nine. So here we go. Nine tips on how to use Pinterest for your direct sales business. So first and foremost, you need to create boards with keywords in the title. So let's talk about this. And after this, I'm going to kind of pop on my Pinterest and show you all of the mistakes I have made over the past. Mm, I don't even know. I think I've had Pinterest for 12 years or so, 10, 11, 12 years. I'm going to show you all my mistakes. I did everything wrong and I'm going to show you how you can go in and do and, and try something out. Try creating a Pinterest post that might have more success than some of mine have. So you're gonna create boards with keywords in your titles. So let's think about this. I am, you know, in the, we're in the home fragrance industry in Pink Zebra. So we have terms that we use in Pink Zebra that a lot of people may not be familiar with. That's just the facts. So for your boards on Pinterest, you'll see if you're not familiar with Pinterest when I show you, you have these boards, okay? And your boards on Pinterest are like where you organize things into topics. So you want those boards to be named words that are key that someone goes searching for. So for example, something I use Pinterest for a lot is kids' birthday parties. So I had my one son's first birthday was Cookie Monster theme. So I searched Cookie Monster Party. And all these images popped up, Cookie Monster this, Cookie Monster cake, Cookie Monster decorations, Cookie Monster games, um, Cookie Monster cupcakes, you name it, Cookie Monster invitations. So that person, all those people that popped up used Cookie Monster or Sesame Street in their boards. And that's what why it popped up in my search. You wanna choose words that are gonna pop up in people's searches. So I know that like in our industry in Pink Zebra, we have a warmer called a simmer pot and we have a warmer called a simmering light. People don't call those simmer pots and simmering lights in the real world. People that have used them before call them warmers. They call them wax warmers, they call them candle warmers, they call them wax melters. So you need to be using verbiage like that so that they'll pop up on a search. Think of the ordinary person, think of yourself before you started with Pink Zebra and what you called things. You didn't call them simmer pots and simmer lights, okay? Um, so for us, some examples might be of good, good um, 
boards to create since we're in the fragrance industry and we have decor we might do a fall decor board we might do fall fragrances or we might do scents of summer we might do lake house decor or decorating for the holidays um christmas decor hanukkah decor you need to select a category for each board as well this is super important it will get your pins noticed even more when you categorize them because people can sort pins by category categories so say you choose decorating as your um, category for that board someone might put in decorating and your board would come up um, say you use parties Someone might put in parties and your board will come up, even though they might not put in your your board might not have the party theme they're looking for. They can search by category. So that really helps you. So when you create a board, it allows you to add a category. Please don't skip that. Make sure you add the category. All right. Number two, use your description to spread your pin, to spread your pin further, to spread the reach further. What I mean by that is on Pinterest, people can click a button and pin it to their own Pinterest board and organize it as an idea that they wanna use later, okay? So make sure that the description is using keywords, again, that are gonna make somebody get it, in a, have it come up in their search. Um, again, we could use things like fall fragrances, Halloween decor, Halloween entertaining, um, holiday party, monster mash, you know, whatever. Um, with fall coming, I'm just using fall examples. Keeping in mind, people can tweet out your pins. People can share your pins on Facebook. So you want to make sure that the description, you use that. Okay, you can have 500 words or less, and you want to make sure you make good use of that description in Pinterest so that whenever it ends up somewhere else, like on Twitter or on Facebook, and someone clicks on it, not only is it going to revert back to your Pinterest page, but they're going to be able to see what the heck that is right away. If they see a picture of sprinkles and a simmer pot, they're going to be like, what are those little dots? Is that edible? Is that candy? And from your description, you should be able to explain to them what that is, okay? Number three, vertical images. So Pinterest, if you're on it, you know, they like long, skinny images, okay? They are 735 pixels by 1102 pixels. Guess what? I hope you took the Canva training or you've started using Canva that we, you know, we did the Canva training for you, just did, because Canva has a Pinterest, um, Canva has a Pinterest, layout for you to make your own custom images. And that is what I'm coming to for the next thing. You must make custom images, okay? Do not just share, share, share the same image. Right now, if you go on Pinterest or you even Google, like for some item for Pink Zebra, you're gonna have, you're gonna see a lot of people's Pinterest come up with the same image, same image, same image. Create something that's gonna catch someone's eye that's different, okay? Create a custom image. Another reason you wanna create a custom image on Canva is because you wanna put that Pink Zebra Independent logo on there and you also wanna brand it with your website. So you're gonna put Pink Zebra Independent logo, you're gonna put your website, like I would put pzpittsburgh.com, and then you're going to post that to Pinterest. Do not post anything to Pinterest that is not branded with your website. And of course, we have to have the independent consultant logo on there. Um, custom images are so important. It's going to catch someone's eye. Putting your website on the image is so important. And again, Canva has the template. And then you're going to describe it in 500 words or less. Link it to your blog if you have a blog. Link it to an article if you're writing an article. Okay. If you're not doing those two things, put your website in the description. Okay. No matter what, you know, put your Pink Zebra website in the description, okay? Um, that is key. You want to connect that image back to your website and your website back to that image. You want it to be like a circle, okay? That they don't get lost, that they know where they can get it. Have, raise your hand at home it, virtually. If you've ever pinned a recipe on Pinterest or a craft idea on Pinterest and you go back on Pinterest and you click, and you can't find the recipe. 
it takes you just straight to their website, not the recipe. And you scroll, 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 and you're like, where's the chocolate lasagna? Where's the pasta primavera recipe I'm looking for? And you have to like keep going. And people most of the time just give up, right? And then just Google it, pasta primavera recipe. And they're like, screw it. And then they're away from that person's Pinterest page. They're away from that person's website. They're not connected to that person at all. See where I'm going with that? If you create the beautiful image, you need to let them know, connect them with the product and help them get the product, okay? So you can do that through your website. Add the website to your description. There's another place you can add the website to, okay? You can add the website to your, by editing the pin, and then you can add the link in the source of the pin. So yes, it's another step, but after you create it, you go in and you edit, and you add your link into the source for the image. That way, when someone clicks on the image, that will take them to your website. That is probably the most important thing you can do on Pinterest. Okay, and then you're gonna add up to 20 hashtags. Again, these hashtags need to be relevant. They need to be keyword hashtags. Do not put simmer pot, simmer light. People are gonna be like, what? I mean, you could, right? But you could put home fragrance, you could put wax warmer, you could put wax melts, you could put sprinkles, you could put your, your hashtag that's your branding hashtag, mine's PZ Pittsburgh. Um, but you're gonna add those hashtags on there in Pinterest. And again, the keywords with the hashtags. All right, number four, make sure you have relevant links in your description to your blog if you have one, and make sure you add that link to your website in those two places we talked about, the description of the image and also the source for the pin. So you go in and you edit and you put source for pin and you put your website, okay? Number five, if you blog, embed your pins in your blog. So if you're blogging, like what a great time you had at reunion, and you're gonna say, my favorite item is the blank, blank simmering light, you better have a picture of that blank, blank simmering light, but make sure that it's connected to your Pinterest. So when they click on that in your blog, whoop, takes you to your Pinterest page, takes them to your Pinterest page, or when they click on it, it takes them to your website, okay? And you wanna funnel that through Pinterest. So you can embed all your Pinterest images in your blog if you're a blogger. Um, number six, share on social media channels. Um, you can link your Pinterest page to Twitter, to Instagram, to Facebook. You can share your Pinterest images on all of those social media avenues. So if you aren't very active on Twitter or Instagram, you could be sharing your Pinterest images on those avenues and kind of killing two birds with one stone. Again, you don't wanna be a super double poster and post the same thing on all of your social media avenues, but if you wanna fill in here and there so that you're not kind of like ghost-like on those social media avenues, then that's fine. Um, number seven, one thing they're suggesting right now, which I'm not quite sure about, is changing your account. So one thing you can do, which is nice, they have Pinterest for businesses right now. So you can kind of switch your account over to a business Pinterest. And I don't, I, I'm not quite sure about that yet. I haven't tried it out. You can, you don't have to create a whole new Pinterest board. You can totally convert your Pinterest into a business Pinterest. It looks like the reasoning for that is because business Pinterest gives you analytics. It's gonna tell you what images are being clicked on the most, um, what images they clicked on and then clicked on the link that's connected and went to your actual link. That might be cool information to have. The one thing I'm worried about is if you switch to a business Pinterest, you'll look like a business on Pinterest and people want to connect with people on social media. So it may not be the best idea. If you're not using Pinterest right now, I highly suggest you just start using it on your personal page and kind of organically embedding some pink zebra, or organically embedding your business onto your Pinterest um, while still being real, okay? Um, number eight, have a pinnable in image on every post you publish. So, they're saying like, if you post an image on your Facebook VIP group, have that image be pinnable, okay? So that like, if somebody clicks on it, 
they can pin it on their Pinterest page, which that I have to do a little more research on. I'm not exactly sure how you add that option. Um, but if you make it the 735 um, pixels by 1102 through Canva and you brand it, you put your Pink Zebra independent consultant in your website, then you know even if somebody wants to share that, they could pin it themselves if they want. But it's much easier if they hover and they have the option to pin. So I'm not sure exactly how to do that on Facebook. Um, other social media outlets might be easier like Twitter and we'll have to see. Um, number nine, build a tips board for more traffic and interest. So for example, um, somebody, I was reading an article and she does, helps people with their social media marketing. Okay. So she has 50 tips for social media marketing and direct sales. She has a tips board with 50 tips for social media marketing. So if I go onto Pinterest as, as a direct seller and I need help with social media marketing, I can put in marketing my direct sales business. Her board's going to pop up. Again, it's all about those keywords. Um, they're very, very important to drive traffic through your Pinterest. So here's my challenge to you. Let's think about this. As Pink Zebra consultants, what could be a good tips board for Pink Zebra? So that's gonna be part of your challenge. I want you to think of what a good tip board topic would be for Pink Zebra. Um, and yeah, so I was gonna give some ideas, but I'm actually not, because I wanna see what you guys come up with. Um, and yeah, so we'll talk about that. So that's part of your challenge. What would be a good tip board that you could add for Pink Zebra that would help people in their everyday life, not necessarily meaning they're a, a fan of Pink Zebra, or they even know what Pink Zebra is, but when they search something on Pinterest, your board might pop up and it might be helpful to them. Because remember, we always have to make it about them and what's helpful to their life in order to drive traffic to our page and you know we're ser we're serving others seeing what, how we can help them in their everyday life okay so think about that what would a good tips board for pink zebra be what kind of tips could we offer to like the everyday mom or the everyday american or the everyday canadian or any everyday woman or man some struggles you go through that could be solved by pink zebra okay um you know, think about it. I have ideas and I don't want to say them. I want to say them, but I'm not going to. All right. So in all my research on Pinterest, the biggest takeaway that I came across, these are my five biggest takeaways. Are you ready? So those were your nine tips for Pinterest. And I'm going to show you my Pinterest in a minute. And these are my five biggest takeaways. Number one, make sure your image is a pinnable image. Do not slap up a horizontal picture you took a snapshot somewhere of. No, no, no. It must be that 735 pixels by 1102, 1102 pixels, okay? If you're not using Canva, they have a template for it. I'm going to show you that template after this. We're going to try to make an image, okay? Number two, link your image to the correct page. Please make sure that when someone clicks on that Pinterest image that it is taking them to your Pink Zebra website, pzpittsburgh.com. Make sure that that's taking them to my website. Test it out, okay? Um, be sure it's connecting to your website. Number three, a business Pinterest um, account is something to think about because then you have access to the analytics of what's been clicked on um, you can also take your personal Pinterest account and transfer it to a business account if you have an existing personal Pinterest account. Again, I want you to be cautious with that because you want to make sure that you come across as a real person and not just a selling bot online. Number four, you must be consistent to engage your followers. Meaning you can't hop on your Pinterest tonight, post 25 images, then knock it on Pinterest for another uh, month or two, pop on and post images. Just like any social media, you need to be engaging and consistent so that people continue to follow you and you gain interest and traction and they're sharing your images and your images are popping up for them again and again and again. Um, you need to make sure that you are consistent, 
That is key. And number five, make sure you're real. If someone gets on your, if they see an image that you post and they get on your Pinterest and they see that you literally have like pink zebra recipes, pink zebra decor, fall decor, winter decor, Christmas decor, pink zebra release 2014, pink zebra release 2015, pink zebra release 2016, pink zebra, they've already left your Pinterest page. If it's all pink zebra, they've already left your Pinterest page. Think of it like other social media outlets, the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of it should be personal and real and authentic to you. And 80% of it should not be pink zebra. 20% of it should be your business, okay? Should be pink zebra, but embedded organically. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, you could share the images of using green tea and lemongrass as a mosquito repellent and make a board that's like summer hacks, okay? That would be something organic to embed in your boards. Um, you can for sure do fall decor, but you better be pinning other fall decor other than pink zebra images, like fall wreaths, fall garland, fall um, pumpkin carvings, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Christmas, you know, Christmas decor, not just pink zebra stuff. Make sense? So that's a huge thing. You want to make sure that you are being authentic and that you're engaging your audience in another way other than just with pink zebra. So use it for your kids' parties. Use it for cleaning tips for yourself. Use it for um, fashion and nail design and um, well, like we're going to reunion. If you're looking for an 80s outfit, start a board with like 80s attire um, with fun themes. Start a board for Halloween costumes. If you're thinking about your Halloween costumes, um, you know, I know um, some people on our team do cosplay. Start a cosplay board of some of the costumes you might want to work on or wear to your next con. Um, just be you. Be your true authentic self. Um, that's what's most important. Okay. So, and that's with, you know, anything you do, people want to see the real you. Okay. So we are going to share my screen here so that you can see. That sounds good. Why isn't it doing it? your entire screen. Oh, there it goes. Share. Woohoo. All right. So we are sharing my Pinterest board. So this is, you know, personal. I've been on Pinterest for, geez, I mean, I've been on Pinterest for, right. so we are sharing <laughs> that's weird. I just want to make sure it was showing. I've been on Pinterest for years. Okay. So I have, I mean, I just started obviously pink zebra recipes. This is my son. Levi's first birthday. That's a secret board. So other people can't see that. You can make things secret and that's up to you. Like my son's first birthday is going to be monst a monster mash because he was born um, around Halloween time. So, you know, that's my planning for that. Um, I've had PZ Pittsburgh for years. Okay. Um, look at all the mistakes I've made. This was before we had the rule about having independent consultants. See how old these things are? Like, look at some of these images are terrible. Okay. But um, you can see the ones that kind of look better. And like, I made these mixes. Now, I shared these right from um, Instagram to my Pinterest. So, um, that's when I was doing that back in the day. Okay, so find the ideas for this board. We have all these other ones. All right, but Pinterest, look, not one single one of my images is 735 by 1120. I mean, really, okay? Um, yeah, not good at this, okay? So I'm just showing you and being real, guys. I've been doing this for a while and yeah, not very good at it. So let's go back to my main page. But I'm real about this, guys. Look, 62 pins for fall and Halloween. So guess what? I'm not creating another board for fall and Halloween. When we get our catalog, 
and I create some Pinterest images, look at the ones I've been sharing that are catching my eye. Look at how long they are. This is 735 by 1120. Look, pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Oh my God, look how amazing they look. They show you them finished because that's when you can eat them, right? So it's the most appealing to people. Then it's dough on the sheet and finished, okay? So you've got to create something that's going to catch somebody's eye, okay? Um, like an outfit. I mean, that's not the best image, but like this is a longer image, okay? So this is another longer image with Halloween snacks. So I'm not gonna create like a pink zebra board. I'm just gonna pop in here and put my fall pink zebra images in my fall and Halloween board, okay? I also have a Christmas board, okay? And that I've pinned stuff to for years, just screwing around with different ideas of things that I like, things I could do with my kids, um, things I can bake, things I can make, Okay, so if I start kind of sprinkling, see what I did there? Some images in there of pink zebra, then that's fine. This is my dog, um, traveling. Oh my gosh, guess what guys? These are the places that I wanna go see, right? Well, what if I start sprinkling in images of places I've been because of pink zebra? So when we're at reunion, I could take pictures of the Grand Canyon and I can post them in my traveling board and then people can see where Pink Zebra has taken me and I can link it back to my Pink Zebra website, which is relevant because I went to Pink Ze I went to the Grand Canyon because of Pink Zebra. I went to Phoenix because of Pink Zebra. I went to the Dominican Republic because of Pink Zebra. I went to, you know, wherever, even if you take a family vacation that you took because of Pink Zebra, you can embed that on your traveling board. Um, this is heart warmers, that's quotes, uh, hair. Um, you know, what if you have your big 80s hair for the 80s party at reunion and you've teased it up and everything and you just add it to your hair page on Pinterest. Again, you're being authentic. You are being yourself, okay? Nanny activities. What if you showed a candle bar, a pink zebra candle bar and showed creating candles um, or creating sand art with our sprinkles. Um, you know, it still smells good, but not having the wick in there, creating like a sand art type of thing, alternative sand art and putting that on your nanny activity board. And guys, this is just me and my raw, like my, um, my Pinterest page. It's my personal Pinterest page. Um, budget ideas, okay. Um, well, you could even go as far as to put in here the image that shows you um, how many parties you need to have to make so much, like especially in your, there's that image Pink Zebra offers um, for your first 90 days and how much money you can make. You could put that in your budget ideas board. Do it yourself. Um, you could do it yourself, make your own candle. Do it yourself, make your own emergency candle. See how easy it is to embed things in here? Love. What if we had a Valentine's Day special that you posted in here in the love one? Um, future ideas. This is the board that I used before I had babies that basically had to do with everything about babies because I kept seeing pins that I thought were great hacks or great ideas for when you have kids. Like I love this one still. I'm probably going to do that with my kids, making them a bin and saving important things from each grade. Um, the chore chart, you know, so I did this, right? You could even add in here, like we have that carriage um, wooly, naked carriage, whatever it was. And you could put that in your future idea or your baby board, home remedies, the mosquito, like the green tea, using green tea and lemongrass to keep mosquitoes away. See how you can, um, embed that in your real life Pinterest. That is what you want to do. You want to be completely and totally authentic. Okay you want to use normal tags for your boards, organizing, favorite places, decorating, products I love, products you love, just put sprinkles in there, you love sprinkles. I think products I love is one of the defaults that they give you as a board when you first sign up for Pinterest. Um, you know, anything. So I don't wanna bore you with this, but I think you get the picture on this. Um, 
you know, and I taught in the past. So I have all of this stuff about teaching and my other kids' birthdays and, you know, fun times. Okay. So you can organically embed things in there. Okay. You can, you have the opportunity to put your website here and look, bingo, bango. There's my website. Okay. Bingo, bango. Um, and then your description. Okay. Again, you do, if you claim pink zebra, you need to say you're an independent consultant. Um, but you can be authentic in search of inspiration for decorating momming and eating healthy. Okay. That's why I joined Pinterest. You don't want to look just all businessy and all robotic. Okay. So if you've not started using Pinterest, this is how it's organized. These are your boards. Like I showed you, you can click on your boards and it has things that you've pinned inside there, just as like a place to keep your ideas organized. So you don't have to screenshot them on your phone. Here's pins. This is just all your pins in order of the way you pinned them. Okay. Uh, again, birthday party, bubble guppy birthday party. Um, I use birthday party stuff a lot on Pinterest. It's pretty much my go-to. Okay. Um, whoops. Sorry. I went out of my page. Okay. Um, I don't know what tries means. Tried any of these? No. Oh, pin, pin you try leave here. You can add notes. Oh, that's cool. So if you've actually made a recipe, you can add a note to it. Like, oh, my family didn't really like that. Or we thought it was amazing. Okay. And then topics. So this, if you're not sure what to name your boards, you can look in here. Skincare, do it yourself. Dessert, container gardening, parenting. But look, guys, these are tags you can use as well for your pins that are going to have, going to have things pop up. Okay. See all the tags, gift ideas. You could tag it gift ideas, do it yourself, home decor for our candles, Christmas, home decor, um, recipes for sprinkle recipes. Um, you know, okay. So the, that gives you some ideas on topics. So I'm going to go back to my regular homepage. I'm going to show you on Canva. You go to your home screen on Canva, then you go down to Pinterest graphic. See it? So here's what I want to do. It is 935 almost. So I want to stay on schedule. So we're kind of just going to, we're going to kind of throw something up here. Um, photos, just bear with me, uploads. All right, of course, all of these are horizontal images. All right, this one is not a horizontal in, horizontal image. So let's see how bad it's gonna look if we stretch it. All right. Okay, I don't know how great that is, but you guys know what I'm saying. I might have wanted to center this more. Yeah. And then, because if we're going to cut out the heart, we're just going to kind of cut it out. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right, so we're going to put our independent consultant logo on it. Look how easy this is. Okay, we're going to add our text. We're gonna add a subheading, I guess. We're gonna do pzpittsburgh.com. We're gonna scooch it up there. Uh, I should have gotten the black text one, but I'll know for next time I don't have that saved on my. What if I do that? This isn't the best branding, guys. You know what I'm saying. Um, if I do that, yeah. OK, so that's kind of OK. I don't know. We'll see. Um, OK, and then, oh, look, there's even a button from Canva published to Pinterest. OK, so I have not connected my Pinterest. 
I'm going to say, okay, connect it. Oh my gosh, look at how easy this is. All right, so maybe I want to do mm, just decorating or summer loving. That's summery, right? Let's do decorating. Oh my gosh, this is so easy, guys. So, so easy. So what were our suggestions on our description? 500 words or less, okay? You wanna make sure that you have keywords. So uh, let's see. Look, they need to know what they're doing with this, right? Fragrance your home with this. Fantastic. Um, purple, crackle, simmering light, uh, pink, um, pink, zebra, home, and the abstract tile simmer pot to accent and fragrance any small space. It's perfect for spring and summer. Get yours at easy. Whoops. Pittsburgh.com. All right. Home fragrance, home decor, spring, summer, purple, pink, magenta, scents, fragrances, wax warmer, peasy, Pittsburgh. Um, llamas. Llamas are in, guys. Llama. All right. And pink zebra home. All right. Now publish. Now here's my question because I've never done this before. It says, do one thing every day that scares you. I want a Roosevelt. Perfect for this opportunity here. So I've never done this before. It says I've been, it's been published. Check it out here. So let's look at it. It's not the best. Okay. So now you can get comments on this and everything. So remember, we have to go in and edit the source of the image. Remember? So board decorating section. No section. I don't know what that means. Section search. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out actually. Title. Um, Zebra summer decor. I don't know where I add the source though. Let's see if I can go in and edit it to add the source. It was decorating, correct? I thought they put these in alphabetical order, but I guess they don't. There it is. So it says I can edit. See, look, guys, I have no other pink zebra in here because I'm just not smart to do that stuff. Um, these are just things that I love, right? I love this gallery wall and the bench under it and the storage. I love this sign with the kids and the dates, okay? It's very authentic. Now, if you have an authentic Pinterest like this, don't start posting pink zebra, pink zebra, pink zebra, pink zebra, pink zebra, because it's gonna have like the first two lines, pink zebra, the first two rows, and then the rest is gonna be authentic. And people are gonna be like, all right, well, they're just spamming now. Um, so still pin your authentic stuff in between. See all the fun ideas. Okay, let's see if I can edit this actual pin because it says I can put the source of the I don't think this is the right thing. Okay, in any event, if this does not work, save. We'll see. Wait. Oh, you can make sections of your board. So you can even break down your board. That's good to know. I don't want to do that. Delete section. 
Okay, well now I deleted my pin. So now you know not what not to do. Um, but you get the idea, guys, okay? Um, I'm gonna find out how to add, go back in and edit the pin to add the source um, because it's not allowing me to do that. Let's look at one of these ones. Um, okay. Embed. Ooh, this is allowing you to embed into your blog. So that's easy. Did you see what I did? You go to the image. You can either download the image, report the pin, or embed. You go to embed. You take this, and you put it right into your blog. And it embeds it right into your blog. Okay? So that is fun. That's going to bother me because I want to know how to edit that link. But in any event, I hope that this, um, I hope that this helped you. Um, I hope that this was helpful to you. So what we're going to ask you to do, and I'm going to be doing it right alongside you, and I realize this is a super busy week, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet, um, your call to action. So number one. I want you to create, I want you to tell me if you are going to create a tips board on your Pinterest for Pink Zebra. You're not going to name it Pink Zebra Tips. If you are going to create a tips board that gets more traffic for Pink Zebra to your board and you could post a lot of Pink Zebra stuff that would be relevant, what would you name that tips board? Um, and I hope that makes sense to you. Number two. I want you to sign up for Pinterest if you haven't, okay? Um, you know, do your, upload your picture, upload your description. Again, if you're claiming Pink Zebra, you need to put independent consultant there and you need to put your website there. Um, and then the third thing I want you to do is I want you to create three boards of your own I want you to create three boards. Remember, you're not creating like pink zebra recipes, pink zebra decor, pink zebra sprinkles. That's not authentic, okay? You could create fall decor ideas, organizing, I well, I don't know what would go into organizing from pink zebra, but fall decor ideas, um, oh, you know, busting the odors or like um, fragrance, fragrances I love would be a good one. Um, I don't know, and recipes, honestly, and you can put pink zebra recipes in there as well. Um, and then when you create the three boards, I want you to upload five pins to each board. So upload five pins to each board. It's a lot easier than you think, and it doesn't take long at all. Guess how many of those pins are gonna be pink zebra? 80 20 rule guys so if you have five pins on your fall decor board four of them are going to have nothing to do with pink zebra so you can just go on pinterest and pin things that you like onto your fall board and one of them is going to be pink zebra related that you can create through canva please don't go steal other people's images off of pinterest from pinterest OK, because if you do that and you pin their image on your Pinterest, where do you think it's going to link to? Their website and their Pinterest. OK. All right. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. As always, if you watch the replay, please hit replay, hashtag replay. Ask any questions that you have and we are happy to help. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.